Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Sorry if um, the video is shaking. It's because you are on a like tripod stand thing that bends and it's propped up on my leg. And so it's kind of shaky. But today I'm going to be doing my fidget toy collection. And these are fidget toys that I've already had and they are DIY fidget toys. I don't have any, you'll see what I have. I don't have like poppets, marble and meshes, monkey noodles. Um, I don't have fidgets like those. You'll see. So here are my fidgets. You'll get a tour. Like, not a tour, but you'll get to see. So first, this container. It's a cotton cans container. But in it, I have um, one of these fidget toys that it's a pencil grip. And then it's full of um, puzzle erasers. The, you see? The erasers, you fidget with them when you, like, pull them apart and everything. And you like pull more and stuff. So that's what's in here. Next, I have all my squishies. I used to have a lot more, but I don't know what happened to them. I have this kiwi fruit. It's pretty slow rising. Um, I have this Valentine's Day, like, heart cake. It has, um, an air hole, like an air pocket there. Um, next I have a monkey squishy. It's kind of broken, and I glued it back together with fabric glue, but I probably need to re-glue it. Next, I have my mochis. Um, they're a little sticky because they were really dirty, so I had to wash them off, so they're kind of sticky. But I have this unicorn mochi. I had a lot more, but they got destroyed by my two-year-old nieces. I had, like, this This container was full of mochis, but now it has other fidgets. Um, I have a duck, and I have a bear. And if you can see, look, they would, like, poke holes in the bottom of them. So let me show you the unicorn. Look what they did to the unicorn. Now you can, like, flip it inside out because there's a huge hole. In the bottom of it. And next, let's do my DIY fidgets. I have three DIY fidgets and I want to make more. So first, I have this DIY tangle. It's, um, what are they called? Um, clothespins. It's the, um, like the spring part of the clothespin. Next, I have a DIY, um, Crap, a DIY joystick, and it's like a rubber band and cardboard and stuff. And next, I have a DIY bike chain, and I will be uploading that video in the same day that this video will be uploaded too. So you, if you want to see how you make this, go check out that video. It's it's pretty simple. It's straws that are right in there, but you'll have to see it. And these are key rings. You can do it with one hand too. This is one of my favorite fidget toys. It's really fun to fidget with. Okay, next. I don't know if this is a fidget, but it's just in here because I made it. it oh, this would be considered homemade too. Um, I basically like it because you can like stretch it, I guess. But they're, oh, I think I broke it. Did I break it? Yeah, I broke it. But it's fine. It breaks really easily. But it's basically just rubber band bracelet chain making thing that I made. Next, I don't really think this, this is a fidget, but it's just in here because it's like rubber. But I have a rubber snake in here because like I guess because you can like stretch it and like pull it apart and fidget with it. I guess it's a fidget, but I don't really call it a fidget. I just kind of have it in here. But yeah. I don't really know where else to put it anyway. Next, this is my smaller fidget. It's a bin. So I'll show you what they are. So first, I don't really know if this is a fidget, but I guess it is because you kind of play it. Like it's like a game, you kind of push the buttons. But it's like a telephone and it needs more water in it. I think you can add more water from the plug in the back, so I'm gonna try it later. But it because it doesn't really work because there's barely any water in it. So Next, I have this, like, rubber ducky, but it's a bird. It's like an angry bird. Um, next, I have um, Gumby and Pokey, but they're, like, they're bendy. 
and so I have them because if you like fidget with them, you can like move their arms up. Then next I have whatever these are called. They're like like pops here. Let's see. If it doesn't pop in like a couple seconds. Oh come on. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. And if it pops in the video, then it'll pop. Next I have a fidget spinner. And it's galaxy and then it's got poop emojis on it. And then I have um, silly bands. They're like but they aren't like the real silly bands, they're too thick. But they're like newer silly bands. Next I have a hacky sack. Next, I had these when I was a kid, but I have the newer brand of them now. I don't know if they're called the same. But they're like basically they're mighty beans. Here, I'll just do with one of them. They basically they like they kind of move in your hand. It's because there's like they have like a weight inside of them. They're really weird. Okay, well it doesn't look like it's gonna pop. So basically, it takes a minute, but it. So basically this will pop out and it'll like fly up in the air but i think it's not popping because this is like has a hole in it in the bottom like you see how it's cracked so that might be why it's not popping but I, it's also kind of fun oh this could be like a homemade um pop it not homemade but it could be like pop it well hi guys um thank you for watching my fidget collection i am planning on um I'm planning on buying more fidgets and, um, like, buying an actual poppet and buying some actual fidgets. And thank you for watching. And this is, like, my fidget bin, and I put my fidgets in it, and I have a lot of fidgets. But I don't have a lot of good fidgets. I wish I had poppets and monkey noodles and marble and meshes, but... Uh, excuse me, I'm sorry, but at least I have some fidgets. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys. Please like and subscribe.